Let's have a look at stage one as they roll out of Catania and head in a northerly direction, hugging the eastern side of this island, looking over at the mainland, passing through the birthplace of uh, Vincenzo Nibali, the great Sicilian, of course, one of the greatest Italian uh, racers in all of history, passing through an intermediate sprint in his hometown of Messina before heading over the Colle San Rizzo, the only categorized climb of the day for a flat and then complicated run in to the finish line. Here in Melazzo, up and down the peninsula, and a finish on the seafront. This happened uh, just a few minutes ago, and uh, the maximum five points of the intermediate sprint were taken by the experienced Norwegian in the colours of Rival Redinez, and that was Krista Hagen who gained himself five points ahead of the Colombian William Munoz. And now, finally, I can bring you in, Rob Hayes. Um, it is a very interesting and unfamiliar-looking uh, start list, but there are so many young riders who are hoping, I guess, to make their mark over the coming four days. And these two are getting together and working well now. Not a particularly steep climb, this, but it does go on a bit, around about 10 kilometres, if not slightly longer, this categorised climb. Now, Krista Hagen representing Scandinavia, essentially, even though they are a Danish team drawn from all over the Scandinavian countries. Big man, tall man, Krista Hagen. And, uh, let the drag race commence continue there's a little bit of a drag race there rally had control with Tuft on the front he swings off and now these riders well, most of them know that this is more than likely going to come down to a sprint but there will be one or two who will, want, who will not want that to happen one two three four five Six riders from Androni Giocattoli, a massive show from them. Very, very impressive. 7.8 kilometers to go, they're still in control. It's an all Italian affair at the moment, or at least it looks that way. Through one kilometer to go now, the closing chapter of this intriguing race is bubbling to the surface now. Androni Giocattoli waiting, Belletti now, and moving up on the right hand side of the road, it's Gaboro trying to maneuver his man into position. Uh, Pacioni, that is, and now. Uh, UAE Team Emirates still with Ferrari waiting, all that experience now coming into play. Belletti watching Ferrari like a hawk, and here comes Shilov. And, uh, and now Ferrari decides to go, Roberto Ferrari. Uh, no, Ferrari is actually let out. So UAE Team Emirates finding the Belletti. Now has it turned him to perfection after all that? UAE Team Emirates, Belletti now, threatened on the right hand side of the road. Belletti, can he hold on? No! Victory instead goes to Stacciotti, Riccardo Stacciotti of Giotti, Victoria, from nowhere, the man with no team, coming to steal victory in stage one from all the rest, all the favourites beat Riccardo Stacciotti of the Giotti, Victoria, a name you simply couldn't have reckoned with right up until the last 50, 100 metres. But the form is there, uh, a second place just last week in the Settimane Internazionale Coppi e Bartali in the bunch sprint stage 1A. Bah, it's incredible, uh, amazing uh, and uh, the stage uh, was uh, very hard and uh, in the climb uh, defend my leg but uh, in the start uh, I don't have good leg but in the final uh, uh, leg uh, are good and uh, I tried to, to make a good sprint and uh, arrive this victory is incredible. And uh, in the final K, uh, my, my teammates uh, uh, bring me in the, in the first position. And uh, at uh, one, k one kilometer uh, at uh, the, the arrive, uh, I take uh, a Belletti wheel and in the last uh, 200 meter uh, I make my best uh, and uh, I win. <laughs>